A major development in the CBSC paper leaks case. The crime branch today arresting three people, two teachers of a school in North Delhi and a tutor of a coaching center for leaking the class 12 economics paper. WhatsApp was used to get that paper from the center to the students. What provided the breakthrough was the location code in the corner of the leaked paper, images of which were circulated on WhatsApp. And uh, finally, action two from the C CBSC against the supervisor of the exam center where that leak took place. These three men could be behind the leak of the CBSC class 12th economics paper. Early morning, we had three men who were arrested. They had two days of police custody remand. So, when we had to go to the hospital, we had to confess that it was the same way. On the morning of March 26, two teachers from a CBSC school in New Delhi's Bhavana prematurely opened the seal on the class 12th economics paper, 90 minutes before the exam was to begin. They took photos of the question paper and sent it on WhatsApp to a tutor in Bhavana. The tutor of the coaching center in Bhavana then sent the images on to students, selling them for rupees 2000 to rupees 5000 to each student. The money was divided between the teachers and tutor, with the teacher's share being 50%. Following the arrests, finally, action from the CBSC announced by the Education Secretary on Twitter. Anil Swaroop said, on the direction of the HRD Minister Prakash Javadekar to take swift action against culprits, the board has suspended KS Rana, the official found lax in supervising the examination centre with immediate effect. A formal inquiry has been instituted. This investigation is separate from another leak of the economics paper, where an image of handwritten questions was circulated over WhatsApp the night before the exam. As for the class 10th math exam leak, the police has traced the person who warned the Central Board of Secondary Education on the night before the test that the question paper had leaked. He is a class 10th student whose identity has been withheld. Three men, two heading coaching institutes and one a private tutor, were arrested in Jharkhand yesterday for their role in the math paper leak. Nine students were also questioned. The police has confirmed that at least one student received the paper from the tutor in question, but they will be carrying out a forensic test of all three mobile phones to find out exactly how many students were involved. In New Delhi, this is Nimsha Jaswal for NDTV. All right, joining us on the program tonight, Aditi Mishra, principal of DPS Gurgaon, here with us in the Delhi studio. Ojaswi Chandok, a student of class 10 of St. Thomas's School, Delhi, is with us. Pradeep Pandari, founder of Janki Bath and political analyst, is with us as well, as is Adil Singh Boparai from the Congress tonight. But Aditi Mishra, let me begin with you. Um, because as principal of DPS and also as uh, uh, head of, uh, of, of, of the Gurgaon sort of center for all, uh, well, the nodal agency yes. for all the Gurgaon centers, you have um, um, a deeper understanding of all of this uh, perhaps than the rest of us do. Would you say that uh, the first instance of action being taken by the CBSC is a positive step? At the same time, it's just one supervisor of this exam center where the arrests have taken place. What do you make of today's development? Uh, well, uh, I think. What has happened is symptomatic of a larger malaise, I think, which hits us today. This crazy race for marks, the tuition centers mushrooming, and eventually the wrongdoer not being caught and punished effectively. I think all these come together as one problem. Um, specifically, this is a one big step forward because it is the uh, exam in charge who is supposed to ensure that papers are not tampered with at all till a certain time. Is These that done effectively in your school, uh, uh, yes, Mishra, What yes. would happen? Uh, in my school, there is the central superintendent who is the custodian of the papers. When the paper is being opened, there is an observer there as well. Then there are four independent people who may not be <coughs> belonging to our school who are supposed to be there. They are from other schools. Right. They are there as invigilators. They are there. So, it is open at a particular time. Papers are swiftly put in the packets which have to go into the various rooms so that children are not delayed with their paper. But there is no so question. So how would something like this happen that two teachers enter such a room which is presumably under a great deal of supervision and security and manage to leak the paper uh, almost uh, two hours before the examination So clearly everybody place. is hand in glove. Clearly. I mean the, the exam in charge who has been suspended now cannot say he did not know that two people were entering the room. And right. if he did not know, then he doesn't deserve to be in this post at right. all. Right. Oh, just see, as a student of class 10, you don't, you, you know, you would probably have to repeat your class 10 maths exam again. Are you satisfied with what you're seeing today? Because you, you've been leading protests against the CBSC. Why do you feel so strongly that, you know, action needs to be taken at this point? I think the students have lost their trust in the CBSC. 
in the press conference, Mr. Swaroop said that the CBSE retest for class 10th would be held just in Delhi and Haryana. But today, the reports said that the papers had been leaked in Jharkhand. And throughout the interview, he had, throughout the press con conference, he had denied us to give the sources of his information on which he based his ju judgment on. And uh, the question I think every student wants to ask is, are we supposed to blindly believe what the government tells us to? You know, Pradeep Bhandari, do you want to come in at this point? Because I think at the end of the day, despite the Education Secretary actually tweeting out the fact that this action is now being taken against the specific exam supervisor, a lot of people are saying this is still a bit of an eyewash. Not enough action is taking. Heads must roll. More accountability needs to be fixed. Uh, Ankita, I think that it's not an action which is enough for sure. I've been saying this uh, uh, in each of my debates that this chairperson uh, has to be removed. And uh, this is just a small fish which is being caught. And I call this scam as the CCS scam. That's the CBSC, the, uh, the coaching institute and the student. Mm -hmm. And it is very uh, naive to believe that it is only limited to certain two uh, officials of this uh, one official of the CBSC who is in charge of the exam center, a certain private tutor or a school teacher. Uh, so I, I, and secondly, another point which I want to say is that even if these accused are caught, they, uh, as per the law, they can easily get a bail within 90 days. Right. Because the, uh, the punishment is less than seven years. So I think the DM should issue a warrant under the National Securities Act where they're, they're at least there in the jail for one year because they've affected the life of it, uh, uh, more than lacks, lacks, of, of students. lacks of students. So I don't say, see that this action is enough even though it might be a small step okay, forward. Okay, a but small I step don't forward. Other thing, Bhopal Rai, I want you to come <laughs> in on this because, you know, apart from all the sort of political mudslinging we've seen on this uh, already, um, are you satisfied with the police's explanation today that the economics paper was leaked after it reached the Bhavana school and you know they've had help from the CBSE all along which has been cooperating this was two teachers acting on their own along with the tutor of a coaching class so and the CBSE also coming forward to say okay yes we're taking action against the exam specific exam supervisor uh, of the center and 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 this seems to be pretty much it we also have those arrests in Jharkhand which the Congress has particularly pointed to and 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 certain political links there Ankita ji has become the modus operandi of the BJP government that in every scam, whether it was Vyapam, whether it was the Ames Paper League, that you catch a few odd tutors and coaching centre people in either parts of the country, whereas the real fish or the big fish get away. There is a pattern to this. Vyapam, we saw a similar narration. The fact of the matter is there is an ABVP BJP nexus which has surfaced up. So therefore, we have reason to believe that the police is going to try to cover up the entire issue because this is actually going to snowball into something unparalleled. Most importantly, any canon of propriety demanded that the CBSE chairperson step down pending inquiry. The, the complete brazenness which has been shown by this government is extremely unfortunate. This is about the future of 30 lakh students. And you see the CBSE chairperson, somebody who has been handpicked by none other than Mr. Modi, continues in this position despite the fact that she has shown zero, she has shown zero uh, sense of uh, responsibility in the entire case. Therefore, we demand pending inquiry, the CBSE chairperson must be immediately suspended. The country today seeks a fair probe and the story which is being put out by the police the seems CBSE to be highly untenable today. for the simple reason that most of these papers actually had come out the day before the examination. Right. So to say that the sealed envelopes were opened a few hours before the paper is highly improbable. I want to bring in Aditi Mishra. Do you believe that there is discrepancies to the multiple stories we're hearing at this point? You know, one story, of course, being that this was that this happened 90 minutes before the exam. What about what happened on the previous day? There were WhatsApp images of a handwritten uh, paper also. So, you know, are, are we just are, are there too many questions or more are, questions than answers? Un unanswered questions over here, uh, especially the fact if people are saying that the paper was leaked before and the CBSE knew about it. Right. Uh, that's a very disturbing question because according to us what has happened is on the morning of the exam hmm. and some children got were privy to the information <coughs> through the coaching centers. Um, and like I said again that the exam centers are so watertight which is why I am not in favor of this whole debate of whether the CBSE chairperson should go or not because this is a localized thing. 
Okay. And uh, you bring another chairperson, supposing it happens again, we remove mm. that chairperson also. So, so you are in effect not really coming down to the root of the problem. See, uh, do you I, why I say that the chairperson is responsible because the whistleblower emailed uh, to the chairperson a day before that these are the respective 10 class examination papers which might be leaked along with the screenshots. See, uh, so that is the moot point. On the rhetoric side, if we talk about it, it's not something which is begun now. There were 23 leaks during the time of Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, 17 leaks during the time of Rajiv Ji. So okay. clearly the education mafia was not tackled by the Congress and I think now the uh, time has come that you infuse technology into the system, you debate whether the CBSE is efficient in controlling the examination or you need something like a national testing agency which is on the format but of the GRE I, I, and the I GMAT. want to ask you, you know, you can, we've heard about the cabinet talking about the national testing agency to eventually take over the conduct of examinations from the CBSE and other agencies. Do you believe this is going to be an effective solution because all you are bringing to the mix is yet another agency? agency. See, I think uh, it's it's a solution which uh, which is one of the steps. But as I said, the technology has to be infused. Let let me give you an example. So right now the papers come seven days before into the storage uh, into the storage center. So rather than that, if every examination center has a password which is only activated an hour or say fifteen to twenty minutes before the examination, and that's okay. where it is downloaded okay, fair and enough. it is that gone. Is so you remove the that hard the copy. CBSE is going to there. try and do right now because we heard uh, the education minister in fact say that there are going that. to be new guidelines guidelines in place probably no, as early as tomorrow. I have one point. Okay, and, and just and I five like, no, seconds. Just a two second point. Yes. If the CBSC can take credit when the examination goes fine, why can't the CBSC chairperson take the responsibility that it is not gone fine and the government asks okay, the chairperson want, to I remove? I want to ask I'm about clear the practicalities on this of this on the ground. Sure. Uh, Aditi Mishra, your school has been part of this testing We've exercise. We've done this exercise. All schools were supposed to be part of the exercise. Now schools in the remote <laughs> areas where connectivity was poor had to wait for an hour and a half for what we did in five minutes. So we finished, mm. we got the, uh, the password. Explain we got to us the, exactly what happened. So we got a, an email saying that this is your password. You have to click on the URL and get a password. Then there was a second password which was sent to us minutes later. So there were, there were checks so and balances. So these are ways to actually ensure. Then uh, when we got the paper yes, out, we were told yes. to print 10 papers mm -hmm. and see how long it takes. Right. If it's going to take ages, then that's going to be again a you know, pretty ridiculous system. So we were able to print 150 papers in about 12 minutes, which was fine, which is what a center should have. While I was finishing my printing work, there were some schools in the far off areas in Mewat, in Pat Pataudi, who were not able to access the URL. The URL kept breaking. So what do we do there? In other, in other centers, the URL opened, the, the password right. wouldn't so open. So you're saying that this is already something that has come across uh, has. snags and snafus even before it's been implemented, Absolutely. even in, at the testing stage, yes. there yes. are questions. This might in fact come into operation from tomorrow. There's some indication that it might and there's, that could lead to a great deal of its own confusion. Um, or just we come in on this because you know you were saying why is it that people in Delhi and Haryana why do those students have to suffer when on WhatsApp these question papers right. could really have gone to anybody right right and uh, I think I agree with ma'am that I mean the question is do the does CBSE CBSE have a backup if things like this these happen internet and you know connectivity there are big problems and if you're going to print the paper an hour or 15 minutes before the examination what about those areas which won't have the that amount about amount of connectivity right Right. And that would be troubling because the students will still have that 10.30 to 1.30 time, time duration to write their exams because the papers will have to go back to the CBSC exactly at 1.30. Adil Singh Bopar, I come in on this because, you know, doesn't this go beyond the point that we've heard the Congress making time and time again that there is a political design to all of this, that, you know, uh, there is a larger attempt to saffronize education, etc. There are particular people of a certain ideology heading boards and, uh, you know, the right people perhaps are no longer on the job, standards are slipping. But isn't this something that has happened in previous regimes as well? Ankita ji, what's most critical in this particular case is that the CBSC had prior information that the papers have leaked. Despite that information, they didn't take any remedial steps. I think that is something which the government and the Prime Minister needs to explain. That's point number one. Point number two, I think it's safe to conclude now that this is a pan-India leak, despite the fact that the Secretary says that this is restricted to Delhi and Haryana. If arrests have been made in Jharkhand, and we all know with technological evolution, uh, somebody sitting in Delhi can send the paper to somebody sitting in Kerala. So this is a pan-India leak which the government again needs to address. Point number three, this is a government which suffers from misplaced priorities. 
you had the MOS HRD questioning Darwin's theory, you have ministers in this government attempting to rewrite history, where is their fault in their basic duties? What is their basic duty to ensure that the examination process remains uh, foolproof, to ensure the integrity of the process? This is something which has really questioned the okay. education system in this country and yes. the future generations will have to pay a price for the callousness the incompetence and the collusion of the BJP government with the education mafia. Oh, just see, you had a point. To right, make. right. So, because I've been talking to students a lot in the past few days, uh, some of the students want the CBSE chairperson to be sacked because they need to know that they are being held, the government is being held accountable for what they have done to three million students. And I think that it's not just about CBSE students anymore because mm -hmm. there is also the SSC scam, mm -hmm. right? And if you see. That and in fact, in the last hour or so, we've got reports that the Food Corporation of India's competitive paper was leaked and uh, Madhya Pradesh's police have now arrested 50 people. Exactly. I mean, so this is clearly something that keeps so repeating. The exam changes, but essentially it's hard to conduct any kind so of free and fair exam. The moot point is country. that 20, uh, 23 leaks of this order took place during the time of uh, Dr. Singh. Nothing, no debate of changing the system happened. For the first who time... Says, who says they didn't 20, happen? No, <laughs> what, what was the change? Tell me the exam right, was so conducting are 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 in the same manner. I am saying that right now we understand that there is a huge systemic problem yes. with respect to the mafia controlling the education. We need to move towards a system where there is less human interference. And yes, I stand with the student no, that no, definitely the chairperson has to resign. The, no, it is not factually wrong. You can go ahead and check. I can tell okay. you the dates also. But the bottom line is that the chairperson should Let be removed. Ankita, can I, can yes, I, can yes, I make uh, my statement? Hmm. Yes, very quickly. Ankita ji, the government of India, the current dispensation has changed the system. They've changed the examination system earlier. You had multiple sets of question papers. Now there is simply one set of question paper. So therefore, this government has made a shift in terms of its education policy, number one. Now, number <laughs> two, I also want to talk about the policy. SSC protest. Yes. What we saw yesterday was brutal uh, brutal repression of legitimate demands of the students. I was there. This is the I want to the come the on I was yes. there at the protest. I was there at the students. Okay. I need okay. to it's unfortunate. Yes, I, okay, I please highlight the, the anti-student mindset of the BJP. Okay, okay, give me five response, seconds. Give response. me five seconds. I was there with the SSC students. I was there. There was no blatant oppression. The police and the students cooperated. You can. I can give you the number of the organizer. I can give you the number of the IPS. This is wrong. This is wrong. Oppression is wrong. I I met the. I met Sucheta, who is the president of ISA. And she was there and we talked about the SSC protest that was held yesterday. Right, right. And I have evidence. I've met people who were I in the hospital. I one of the communist organizations which okay, is there. Okay, so you okay, will okay, believe that. Okay, not here. So, Please, you know, so I don't that think doesn't fall you within should believe the purview what, of... You should ask the student. It was not organized by ISA. This doesn't fall within the purview of this discussion. Narithi Misha, help me bring some degree oh, no, of sanity have, back into this uh, conversation. Um, do you see though little sign of anyone really taking responsibility? And more worryingly, where is the assurance that this will not happen again? There is no assurance till we ha bring these people to book and we ensure that there is punishment. That is true of anything in our country. Why do things keep happening? Because there is book. nobody made accountable and therefore rapes will happen, therefore scams will happen, therefore paper leaks will happen. Till somebody is punished publicly and shown that if you do this, this is going to happen. And may I quickly answer the question about policy change? The papers were made equal because there was a huge protest that Delhi papers are easier, outside Absolutely. Delhi are more difficult. Yes. Uh, foreign papers are the it's most difficult. It's nothing to do with the policy. Second thing, e even in set A, B and C, there were always allegations. Set A was easy, Absolutely set C was very not. difficult. So set B children uh, were also in the middle of nowhere and therefore set C children but, got... But tell me, do you, are you then saying that these are knee-jerk reactions to, of course. Uh, to specific problems there or is, arguments what and, is required. And, 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 and there isn't like a larger holistic picture about what's being What done. is required and which is where I think where the CBSC is moving towards slowly and steadily is a systemic change in the entire education pattern in the examination system. Absolutely. But that's going to happen slowly. It cannot happen in one exam. This was one step forward that you have the same kind of paper everywhere. The second thing was have only one set which goes to all the children. Let's not discriminate among children that some people get set A, some will get set True. B, some will get set C. Now more changes are anticipated and we already are hearing from the CBSC. So I am completely against this, this strange reaction that removed this chairman, chairperson and then everything will be fine. Oh. All right. Uh, we'll leave it at that for the moment uh, because uh, no doubt we're going to be talking about this. We haven't heard the end of this yet. But thanks very much indeed. I think Mr. Ujaswi Chandok. Uh, Pradeep Pandari and uh, Adil Boparai on for joining us on this discussion tonight.